Hey everyone, everyone knife for you, another action figure review, and this time we're going to take a look at another SH Figuarts Dragon Ball Z figure. This time it's going to be on Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan Vegeta, and it's actually Dragon Ball Super. We actually got the new logo down here, pretty cool, uh, for the new show that they have. And this is a web exclusive, so it's in this packaging, since that's the new thing. It did come with a brown shirt, but this that side. Here's the back of the box, and it shows the accessory of the uh, Aurora effect that you can get. That would match that one pretty good, and then it shows Goku on the side next to him. Here's the other side. There's the front again, the bottom, and the top. It says Big Bang Attack. Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan Vegeta. So let's crack it out the box, see what we got here. Okay, so we finally have Vegeta out of the package, and he looks uh, pretty good. I mean, not bad at all. I have a few gripes here and there, um, but it's not too, too bad. Overall, I do like what I see. I'm happy that they released this Vegeta figure uh, in this form. There's a good look at the back of the figure. You can see um, the new armor that he's sporting in the Dragon Ball Super um, anime now. It's got the new uh, armor with the uh, the Whis logo on the um, on the chest, just like the uh, Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan Goku figure. Now he does come with a few accessories. In total, it's four faces, including the one on the figure right now. Taking a look at a couple of them, we have we got this face where he's looking off to the side right there with a little smirk. And then I like this one a lot. This is a like a powering up or an angry face. But that's totally Vegeta right there. And then we have this uh, screaming open mouth face. So that could be another powering up or attacking face or something like that. So there's that, and of course the one that's on the figure itself, just a neutral, you know, Vegeta face right there for sure. Uh, and that's our, those are all the faces that come with him. Now we got some hands as well, a few new ones too. These are, of course, your basic open hands right here. And then we have these kind of like grabbing hands. And then we have these, which are, are the newer ones. Uh, you could do a lot of newer poses, I guess, with this, or you can, you know, be creative and see what you can do with this type of hand. But there's this hand pose. There's these hands, and of course, the fists that are on the figure itself. Let's take a look at the articulation of the figure. We got the head going left and right, so this is pretty much the articulation that we know from SH Figure Arts. So up and down, lots of range of movement in there. So, of course, the neck does uh, move too. You can see it right there. Uh, the arms go forward and back in and out upper bicep swivel of course we have that shoulder uh, movement too uh, like I said upper bicep swivel double jointed elbows right there then we got the swivel at the wrist with a hinge so that's good too uh, we also have the waist swivel and it crunches forward and back um, side to side uh, to me I feel like there's a bit of a gappage going on right here and that's as far as it goes down it doesn't really like hug the uh, lower torso the groin area the legs uh, go forward and backwards, drop down SHV word style. Makes more range of motion, forward and back, in and out. Uh, the upper thigh swivel. Got the double jointed knees there. There is no shin swivel, even though it looks like it should have some. It doesn't. Uh, the ankle goes forward and back. Ankle rocker, ankle pivot. Swivel left and right, and then we have the toe articulation as well. Now that's sort of my attempt to kind of do something with that hand, kind of like he's wiping his face from like a punch or something. Uh, kind of try to be a little creative with it. Uh, does it look cool? I don't know. It looks It looks like it could work out just, you know, with more playing around with it. I think it'll look better. To compare the hairs, people are curious to see if it's the same hair sculpt. And it seems to be different. Very subtle, but it is different. If you look at the front piece right here, you see this main point. Then you see the two on the side right here. Uh, they're a little bit different on the Super Saiyan God version of it. It's just very subtle. Um, so it is a different sculpt, but very similar at the same time. All right, I also wanted to address something that people have been complaining about too, is how Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan Goku came with a regular Goku head, and why didn't Vegeta come with one? Uh, yes, that's true, he did not come with one. Uh, I don't know why they went that route. They really should have given us a regular head. Um, that's another gripe, and you know, I don't think that would have been that much of a big deal to give us a regular hair or head. You know, it kind of sucks, but this is the extra head from Scouter Vegeta, which comes with an extra hair piece, and you can use another face. And he looks decent with the black hair with that. Um, it kind of hides the um, the neck there. It looks kind of weird. I don't know. 
that's up to you it doesn't look too bad at all so you can kind of get away with it if you wanted to pose it with black hair and also what i wanted to do is have a regular super saiyan head on the figure as well uh, so that's how he looks with the premium vegeta head uh not too bad i guess you can say um skin tone wise they pretty much match so that's pretty good um, I think, I believe in the show he does become regular Super Saiyan while he wears this outfit, so it kind of makes sense to put it on him. But that's the premium Vegeta one. Let's go ahead and put on the original Vegeta head. So this is the non-premium head, and you can kind of see how he looks with that. So it's up to you whether or not you like that head better than this one. Alright, so my opinion when it comes to the uh, to the paint they chose for the hair, the, it's kind of like a metallic blue. They didn't go with the same paint that they did with Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan Goku. Uh, I, I mean, I wish they kind of matched, but at the same time, it's not that bad. You know, it's not that big of a deal. It's not, you know, you should not buy this figure because of that. You should, you know, you should still get it. I, I think it's still really nice. It's not the same sculpt, but it's very similar to the to the scope that you know the the other vegetas did have you can see kind of like the metallic shine to it it is very different but overall it does look very good and i can live with it, it looks you know it looks okay for me uh, overall the figure is solid and i do recommend it it's, it's a very nice looking figure he's very sturdy uh joints are really nice and tight on this figure they did a good job on that and i think it's well worth the buy uh very badass looking i, lo I love vegeta so um, this is very nice for me, and I, I'm going to really love this one in my collection. So I I think this figure is very nice. I know a lot of people are kind of, uh, there's a love-hate with this figure. I know some people th don't think that it's really good, but I think it's a really nice figure, and I really like it. You know, it's a really, really good uh, solid figure by Bandai. All right, so that pretty much concludes my review on the SHG Arts Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan Vegeta figure. Of course, Dragon Ball Super new show has been released for Dragon Ball Z, continuing the sagas, continuing the story. And this is indeed the new transformation, the new Super Saiyan form. It is Vegeta, which is my favorite Dragon Ball Z character out there. So I'm really happy they made this figure for sure. I really wanted it. And he's going to look great next to your Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan Goku figure. So with that said, I hope you guys enjoyed the review. Please leave a like, comment, subscribe. You guys like. You guys have a great day. Bye.